China has launched three days of military maneuvers around Taiwan in what it describes as a stern warning to Taiwanese President Tsai Ing-wen. Two attacks on Friday killed three people and wounded five others, including Italian and British tourists, in recent surge of violence. Ukraine claims it shot down a Russian fighter jet as the fight for Bakhmut intensifies. The funeral has been held in Moscow for assassinated Russian blogger Vladlen Tatarsky. China has launched three days of military drills around Taiwan in what is described as a stern warning following this week's visit to the United States by Taiwanese President Tsai Ing-wen. Taiwan, in response, carried out these counter-maneuvers, with its defense ministry describing the Chinese operation as an irrational act that has jeopardized regional security and stability. Tsai met with the U.S. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy during a visit to California in defiance of Chinese warnings not to. The Chinese exercises include maritime maneuvers designed, analysts say, to show the ability to impose an economic blockade of the island. Beijing disputes Taiwan's claim to independence from mainland China. Three people have died and at least five were injured after two attacks on Friday, according to Israeli authorities. Early Friday evening, an Italian tourist was killed and Italian and British citizens were among the wounded when a car rammed into a group of tourists in Israel's capital. In an earlier incident, two British Israeli sisters were shot dead and their mother was seriously wounded near a settlement in the occupied West Bank. There was no claim to the attacks. Tension has been continually rising this year. Early on Friday morning, Israel unleashed airstrikes on Lebanon and bombed the Gaza Strip. Later, both sides were showing signs of trying to keep border hostilities under control. However, the midday prayers at Jerusalem's Al-Aqsa Mosque were peacefully held despite violence in recent days. The recent wave of violence was triggered when Israeli police stormed the mosque earlier this week, causing unrest in Jerusalem and outrage across the Arab world. The Ukrainian military claims to have shot down a Russian Su-25 ground attack jet near Marinka in the Donetsk region. A video is released on Friday that officials say shows the pilot ejecting before the plane hits the ground and explodes. However, Russia hasn't confirmed the loss of a fighter plane. The Moscow-serving mayor of Donetsk, Alexei Kolemzin, confirmed that one person died and six others were injured during Ukrainian shelling in the city of Slavyansk. He says 15 cities and villages on the front line were shelled on Friday. Elsewhere in the region, in the town of Sivask, 100 kilometers from Donetsk, there's been no drinking water, gas, electricity or communications for almost a year, according to the regional administration. It comes as the fight for Bakhmut intensifies and Ukraine forces say they're holding out. The funeral has been held in Moscow for the Russian blogger Vladlen Tatarsky, who was killed in a bomb explosion at a public meeting in St. Petersburg. Tatarsky was a fervent supporter of Russia's invasion of Ukraine and posted from the front line, giving support and advice to Russian troops. A 26-year-old woman, Daria Trapova, has been accused of the killing and charged with terrorism offences. Fans of Silvio Berlusconi's football club, Monza, gathered outside the hospital where he's being treated in the Italian city of Milan. The former Italian prime minister vowed on Friday to survive his illness. 86-year-old showed signs of improvement as he received treatment for leukemia and a lung infection. The billionaire, larger-than-life figure, was admitted to an intensive care cardiac unit on Wednesday.